hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel today guys i'll be checking out this interesting video from charlie keg and it's titled girl proves exactly why college is a scam with awful take you guys i'm super excited for this if you're here to subscribe to this channel please consider subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and without much ado let's see what charlie keg has for us in this video i was hoping we could talk a little bit more about how you see college as a scam okay i think we, we, we did that but sure so uh, if you want to talk about something else we can talk about something else i was just curious okay um what what would what would you like to to pinpoint on that yeah well i think a big part of your issue is that people are spending a lot of money and that you feel like they're not getting the equivalent of all the money that they go into debt or that they have to borrow to make it worth it um well, in that case, I really, I think education is really awesome. I think it's really valuable. I think education's the only way that someone like you is able to write a book is because someone taught you how to read and write. And education on all levels is great. So that's not my, that one, I don't think that's your issue with college, right? Do, that do you know people, where I went to college? Um, I don't think that's important right now. Let me just. Uh, I, I didn't. I'm just talking. To, I said read and write. Like, who taught you to read? No, no I agree. Hey, I, I, hey, I didn't say grade hey, school is a scam. Can we just keep going? All right. I can said we college just... is a scam, not grade school. Right. Keep going. So we're talking about the financial part, right? So do you think that college should be free then, so that everybody can get like a free education? No. Why and by, not? By the way, what's happening in college is not an education. Well, okay. Um, wow. I'm just. You don't think that college should be free because it's not an education? If it well, was, a, no. Wait, wait, wait. If both, it was an education both. in your eyes, would you think that should be free? Or do you what just... do you mean by free? You mean paid by somebody else? Well, sure. Our taxpayer dollars would go. Oh, to okay. Pay so, for so, it. so, yeah. So, so paid by somebody else. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, sure. <laughs> no, I don't believe that your schooling should be paid by somebody else. I want my taxes to go to schooling for everybody. I think education's great. I don't want my taxes to go to fund wars. I don't want my taxes to go to the military or the police budget, but I don't get you to You don't pick. want any military? I don't think that it should go to fund the military like that. I want my taxes. You don't want any police force? Um, I want my taxes to go towards education because I think education is valuable. Do you think that education okay. should be well, what paid is for? So define education. I'm curious. Sure. It's just the... Uh, I would probably say that education right now is the ability to go out and and learn different mindsets, to be introduced to different subjects, to have the opportunities to talk about these things with a lot of different kinds of people. I think that's the really cool part about college. Someone like you can come here and have different opinions. My history teacher just talked about how he's like, he's like he does this whole like, I'm a conservative, old school conservative act. And then one of my other teachers, she's like, I'm a bleeding hippie, you know? There's like a lot of opportunities to just be introduced to subjects you didn't even know were a thing. Like I didn't know that semiotics was a thing until my last ph philosophy class, and I think that's really interesting. So, just the idea that you get to go out to this place and you get to get taught about a bunch of different ideas. Do you are you against that being available for everyone? Oh, I have a completely different view of what education is. So, education in Latin means to lead forth. Okay. The, your idea of education is the new age, which is we're going to have like a buffet line of postmodern ideas and all ideas are treated the same. I don't believe that at all. College means partnership in Greek. And going back to education, you must lead forth towards something. And I think college should lead you towards the good, the true, and the beautiful. Okay. It should lead you towards things. You think it should lead towards beautiful things? Of like, course. Like beautiful things like you think that we should go out after college and be like where's the prettiest thing that's if your idea me? of beauty is just the aesthetic then you're not having a great college well, what's, experience what's your idea of beauty my bad that my which bad. is perfected in being okay wow. so you really like the the greek ideas and like the roman ideas of like the the idea of perfection and perfect harmony because that's like a very greek and roman way of well it's western which is the civilization we currently live in okay but, that but let me finish from greek and roman it, of course ideologies. you're right so the good the true and the beautiful are the three things that every college student should grapple with do you think in this current university that is what you're currently grappling with that the focus of your education is enriching yourself to get closer to what is good what is true and beautiful see i don't engage with you on the ideas that good true and beautiful are something that can be defined and something well, that, that can be taught your perfect evidence of why i think college is a scam why do you s wait i don't wow. because of course they could be defined and they should be sought after okay so you think that something like the beautiful the perfect 
like yes. something like goodness can be defined in quantifiable, teachable. T- oh, because you're Christian, I forgot you guys think yes. that there's like yes, a the, binary to well, no, goodness. There, there, there's a hierarchy, not a binary. Oh, there's okay. an right. ultimate perfection. The ultimate okay. perfection would be that there's a creator who loves you, who okay. made you in his image, and loved you so much to come down and take the broken flesh form, live a perfect life, die and rise from the dead, mm-hmm. so that you might live forever. There mm-hmm. is nothing more perfect, good, true, or beautiful than that. Okay, so I don't really engage with religion like that, but what about just the idea that you get to go to a place, you get taught about different subjects, you get the opportunity, okay, I'm sorry, because you don't you don't have access to all these things wherever you come from, you get the opportunity to talk to people who know a lot about these different subjects and get to learn about that. You don't think that, that no, should be free well, or like provided for? First of all, I don't for? think it should be free and I don't think that's what education should be or what it once was when it was at its best. Why are you guys? What are your thoughts on this particular debate between Charlie Keck and the college student? Whose side are you on? And what do you think about the point that she raised that every taxpayer's money should go into education? What she's saying in essence is that education should be free and everyone who is eligible to pay tax should be paying towards education and the military should be ignored. Do you think her argument is lame and who do you think is leading in this particular one? Because I'm not about to choose side. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below and let's continue watching you guys. What do you think it was at its best? Because we have like the Indian Golden House of, oh no, I think it was called the Baghdad Golden House of Wisdom. We have the Greek and Roman and they had their whole thing about how you have to learn astrology at the same time as learning your education. We have like so many different points of learning and knowledge. I think people just love to learn. I think learning is inherent to what we want to do with our lives. So, so two thoughts. That is the first line of Aristotle's metaphysics, which is all people seek to know that something within us wants to learn. So to answer your question, when was education at its best? It no, was that was your, you were the one who was like, education is not at their I, best I, here. You're like, this is your new age bullshit. It, like, it, it is. So, but so l- when l- was me, it good? I was about to say that and you interrupted me again, oh, okay? My, my bad, I'm all sorry. Right. So it was at its best when we had a thing called classical education here in America, specifically around the American founding. Classical education has a prioritization mm-hmm. on the Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle, and the core canon of Greek thinking, which is that there is an abstract, distant good, the mm. Logos, which mm. created the world, right? Mm-hmm. I want to try to find out more about what that is. So you think that education should revolve around ethics then? You think it should be well, teaching people? Well, it's a people- big part of education, yes. I think that creating good people should be the number one priority of education. Okay. Do you guys think that creating good people is a priority at Cal State Fullerton? I don't think that that is really a thing that you can achieve like with a pointed... I don't think there's a way to really teach somebody... Being, like being a good person is so hard and it involves it so many different you, like though. factors. I could prove to you I think how that we could do it. We're getting a little bit too general no, no, with things cuz no, the Greeks I'll, and the Romans I'll they weren't really you. like they were they had a lot of beliefs, okay? Plato and Aristotle were not like let's do the most good. They were not all in agreement about all these different things. Well, they no, had a lot well, of they, different They had, they had a teacher student relationship. But let me ask you a question. If do you think people would commit more crimes or less crimes if they knew that a police officer was watching them at all times. I don't think this is what Just, we're talking and, and, no, about. No, no, no. You asked. You said you cannot teach people good. I'm asking a question. Mm-hmm. If somebody f- thought that somebody was watching their actions, mm-hmm. would they behave differently? Yes, they would. Mm-hmm. I think that people behave differently when yes, people watch their actions. Yes. Therefore, if society thought that there was a god that was watching all of their actions, would they behave differently? Do you feel like you behave better when someone is watching Absolutely. your actions? Absolutely. And in fact, I, I... So you feel like you can't be good without someone there no, no, to observe it's not, it? It's not a matter of you can't be good. Is that you act better if you think that there is somebody watching and judging That's your true. actions. That yeah. this is really the biblical- unfortunate for you because I want to do good because I think it's better for the people around me, not because someone's watching Ho- me. Hold That's on. like the ideas of the panopticon. Well, you know? hold on a second. But if you believe that somebody is always watching your behavior... You'd Mm -hmm. be less likely to lie, less likely to steal, less likely to cheat. And this is a good question Mm -hmm. because you're coming after this in good faith. Do you think human beings are generally naturally good or generally not so good? Are we are we are we flawed from our birth or are we good or are we a blank slate? See, you're bringing up these Christian ideas of good again. I don't think we really come to the same synthesis on what a good person is. I feel like was Hitler good? 
Um, I feel like, again, you're not listening to me. Uh, I feel like we don't question. come to the same synthesis about well, no, what I think good we will, though. is. Because for me, I think that something like good is, again, the question of ethics it's not really a question of education right so you have but, to decide. But what people, simple. What people decide question. for themselves is good is different right so hitler but, thought what he was doing was good for his people we do not see his actions as good because he was pretty awful to a lot of people but when we turn things into an ethical question he, he may see it as doing good for himself and god because yes a lot of people believe they're doing good for God, even if that was, thing is was, killing people. Was Hitler doing something objectively wrong? Which thing are you talking about? You're talking the about the concentration genocide? camps. No, I don't like the concentration camps, believe it or not. But hold on, you don't like. So was that objectively bad? Objectively bad. I do think that hurting people is objectively okay, bad. Okay, so now we're believing in bad. So then good, there's a spectrum now. You said objectively bad. So you now just said there's a spectrum. It's not a matter of, well, somebody wanted to do some good for yourself. No, no, no. Now mm -hmm. there's a spectrum. Concentration mm -hmm. camp, ba bad. So mm -hmm. then let's like get away from that. How about Mother Teresa? Good? Are you talking about her actions and trying to help the poor? Hundreds of thousands of uh, poor people that were saved in India and Calcutta thanks to her sacrificial work over 30 years. I don't know Mother Teresa like that, just, but can we go back I just to said for I feel like we've gone really off track. No, it's not. It actually, I, we're, we're Why, you guys? This is becoming more and more heated. And what are your thoughts on this? Would you behave better if you know that someone is watching you? Or you just behave the way you want to behave, whether someone is watching you or not. Because there are some really, really bad people who knows that the police are watching them. But still, they go ahead to commit a crime. These kind of people are people that their bad behaviors are very, very innate. And no matter who is watching them, whether it is the police, whether it is God or whoever, they still end up committing evil. Let me know what your thoughts are on this one. The guy has a point and Charlie Kirk also has a point. But whose side are you on? Who do you agree with most? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. And let's wrap this video up, you guys. For, for again, you're you're I talking think about that, the most important thing hey, because... Hey, dude, you're interrupting me again. Well, it, it is kind of our table. So, um, oh, so but, you can interrupt me, but yeah, I can't but, no, interrupt but, you. Hold on. The fact you can't answer this question shows that college is a scam. Because what? If you can't say that Mother Teresa good and Hitler Mother bad... Mother Teresa denied anesthetics to people who are in serious pain because she thought the suffering would bring them closer to God. I think a lot of what she did could be considered... I highly doubt that to be true. Okay, but, okay, but, but I'll take whatever. It. We can't just reference random things and use that. Because right now we're talking about ideologies. Again, I find that what I consider to be good revolves more around the fact that humans are social creatures and generally pro-social attitudes of promoting... Uh, collectivism tends to be it tends to be better for people just because that's in our evolutionary nature Is but it? you are a Christian. So you believe that there's a guy watching you and that's what makes you do good. You're no, like, it's not. if someone's that, that, that watching a, me, I am more likely no. to be nice. But hold, I want to be there, nice there's a lot because of other, I like there's how other, other people reasons to react do good. To I was nice. asking okay. the question that for would you be more or less likely to shoplift if a police officer was next to you in a department store? It's a very simple ethical question. But how does that make me good or not? That just makes it me worried makes about consequences. Good. No, it makes me worried about consequences, you little exactly. face man. If you do not have consequences. <laughs> but consequences Consequences does not determine the, ethics. The, the, it the just mark means of an intellectual fool is throwing around pejoratives when they don't have wisdom. Remember that. So, let, Ooh, let, let, it, so the question is this: If you do not believe there's a consequence to your action, why wouldn't you do the action? See, that's again the ideo ideology of consequentialism. I don't really subscribe yes, to that. Th there I should think be that, consequences. No, but I think that consequences, your actions, can exist outside of a vacuum of consequences. Right? We can't make our decisions based on whether or not we think the action will will lead to a certain outcome because those will always be random, right? So I revolve more around we try to do things that we think will promote general pro-social attitudes. I think that that is more likely okay. to get us other than worrying let, about let me, that we'll Let me we'll ask you a hypothetical. Have, okay, I, I, this will tell me a lot. Is pedophilia wrong? Pedophilia, I consider to be wrong because it is actively damaging someone else, right? 
But what if they say they're a minor attracted person and it's pro-social to be with a young person? What, why are they Do you wrong? know what pro-social means? Like, pro-social means there's, like, pro-social and anti-social behaviors. It's, like, a theory of social um, psychology. Pro-social generally means, like, working together, uh, socialization, you No, know, they're socializing with, with an eight-year-old. People. Why is that wrong? Okay, that's not socializing and you know it. Anti-social behavior well, usually means doing things that are considered um, rejecting socialization, like, rejecting other people, pushing things away, promoting uh, things that other people actively end up um, considering less So then should pedophiles go to prison? Uh, pedophiles go to... I do not know what's the best way to handle pedophilia because... Wow. No, because how do we know... That means right. I don't think that anyone should molest a child, <laughs> God forbid. Wow. But hold I on. really Wh don't. Why, why shouldn't a pedophile go to exactly. prison? What? That's... Again, we're getting really off topic. Let's go no, back to the ideas actually, of good no, and evil and we're consequentialism. We're talking about college is a scam, and you're a perfect example, like one Aww, of the best thank you. I've ever seen thank to you. show <laughs> the intellectual drivel that is caught on a college okay, campus. because you think that I'm not being taught about the good, the pure. Well, let's go back to that, because I thought that the, was really interesting. Yeah, the good, the, the true, good, the, the true, we'll do a couple more minutes. The good, the, the true, and the beautiful, yes. Right, so you think that that's something that can be quantified, can be taught, and that it should... And experienced. That, wait, and not only that, that it should be taught, that yes. we should promote the ideas of good and beauty to other people. Correct. Okay, but let's remove it from that. What about just the idea of, because remember the ancient Greeks and Romans that you love so much, they didn't have the same ideas of God in the same way that we do, but That's they correct. still, thank you for saying I'm correct, that was really nice of you. Um, it's true, you're um, right. So when they wanted to learn, when they sought out learning, when they had schools of learning and all that kind of stuff, a lot of the times, they didn't just teach things around ethics. They taught other stuff. They taught astrology. They taught medicine. They taught science. They taught arts. And people wanted to learn that. Do you think that that ability, that experience of going into a place and saying, can you teach me more about this subject? Can I learn? Can I expand my worldview? Can I get open to different beliefs? Do you think that that should not be paid for or not be compensated? First of all, it should definitely not be paid for. Secondly, mm -hmm. it depends if those disciplines are mm. rooted in the pursuit of truth, goodness, and beauty. So you think Let me only if once they're tied into something that well, falls in your hold ide on, ideological hold on, it's worldview. Not my, can I, can mm -hmm. I finish? Okay. Oh, sorry, if those disciplines are finished, are are rooted in the good, the true, and the beautiful. Absolutely. Let me give you a hypothetical example. Okay. So if you go, I don't know if this school has one, but if they have some sort of center for like feminist ideology mm -hmm. or some sort of inter, do they have one here? Then th that is not in the pursuit of what is good, true, and beautiful. That is in the pursuit of how I can complain and hate men and get a degree and be paid for that. Why wow, you guys, that was such an interesting debate from Charlie Keck and Kudos to the girl for holding on to her end of the debate because she didn't back down. Most of them would have backed down from continuing with Charlie Keg when it got really, really intense. And I was having faith in her throughout this debate. But when she said she didn't know how exactly pedophilia should be punished, that was when I lost my faith in her. Of course, we all know that pedophilias are bad people who intend to harm kids and should be punished accordingly. But when she says she doesn't know the right way they should be punished, what other way can a pedophile be punished? But throwing them in jail and being locked up and denying them access to any kid. Let me know what you guys think about this. It was very, very intense, but also very interesting i enjoyed every minute of this video if you guys enjoyed watching give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys